Hello everybody and welcome back to Contraband Police. We're going to jump in here and see if we can try to get past the training side of it. Move on to a uh, next chapter of the game. Now, I've been enjoying this, the shit out of this game. It, it's, I know I hate it that it's been so long that we've been back into it. Um, we've, uh, like I said before in a, a past couple videos, we are in a new city in uh, GTA. Um, we're trying to get some stuff set up in that in GTA before I start either streaming it and also uh, recording some content over there. That way, there's going to probably be a lot more. As soon as I start getting recordings over there, there's going to be a lot more GTA content on this channel. I will try to keep uh, these games alive as far as Contraband Police, uh, maybe the uh, Owner Simulator, the Cafe, and uh, maybe a couple other ones. But I know GTA, for the most part, once it starts popping off a little bit more, we'll probably start seeing a little bit more of that over here. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into Contraband Police and see what happens. I don't know what he said. Uh, sir, you might want to stop uh, down the road and put your tailgate back up. It's not worth it. I'm getting him right here. I'm getting him right here. Oh my god. So apparently we are still in training, chapter one. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I was fixing to say, uh, for some reason I felt like we restarted for some reason. We got a big truck already. Uh, let's look at the cargo list. On April 19th, 1981, the minister... Ministry of Transport is changing the regulations on the import of goods into a Karistan. The requirement of the drivers to have cargo list is introduced. Any discrepancies in the document should be result in uh, any discrepancies in the documentation should result. Okay, so basically, anything we find that's uh, you know the paperwork, everything else, it's not going to work out too well. Smuggler number three. Um, our services overheard a telephone conversation. Thanks to which we obtain specific information about another smuggler. The nationality is at Al Barak. Al Barak? I'll just say Al Barak. I'm sure it's uh probably pronounced, you know, something completely different. But yeah. Move it on in, move it on in. Look you almost got uh, somewhat of an army truck. How's it going, sir? Let me go ahead and get your documentation, please. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Let's uh let's take a look at his uh, documentation. Oh. His name is Lou Ivanovich. See, Lou Ivanovich. Let's look at his cargo list. Lou Ikonovich. All right. So right off the bat, <laughs> uh, his name, his cargo list name does not match. So cargo list surname. Let me match that to that i want to see where that puts it okay it's just a regular name surname so already this guy is not he is not going to make it in um looks like his passport number is the same let's look at um ballot through july of course that's a match uh let's look at that he's a uh, now he is Arkanistan, so why he would be able to come in, I wouldn't know. He does have a cargo list, so we do need to. <clears throat> we do need to check out his cargo list, so let's uh, go ahead and jump in here. I don't know how to. Let's see. In my inventory. I didn't see what it said for me to use to check the inventory here. Inspection list. I don't want that. Get that out of there. That's the map. Oi! <laughs> <clears throat> Let me see. 
I didn't see what I was supposed to use to... Okay, of course, that's my flashlight. Don't we, we don't need our knife right now. The best way to compare a document, Argolis, Argolis, pick it up from the table. Cargo State is using your cargo notebook. Pick it up. I. All right. So if I would pay attention. <laughs> Good you. lord. All right. So now we have a cargo list. Oh, we have. All right. Sweet. We got more. Uh, more tools on the <laughs> counter. Oh shit. All right. Can we not just get in the damn truck? Thank you. All right. There's our cargo list. Let's see. Uh, now, use your notebook to count all the cargo lists from the items. Hold the left mouse button. Make sure we count every. Well, we don't want to count like everything. Okay. That should be everything that I could see. Oh, we missed a. Uh, Detergents at the top here. All right. Okay. Now let's compare everything. We got uh, fertilizer nine, which he has an extra. Looks like he has an extra fertilizer. Two refrigerators, gas range. We got three. Detergent one, toilet one. Chemical agents. I didn't see the chemical agents. Um, his cargo list is already screwed up, so we know that. Let me make sure, because I, I don't want to miss... I really don't want to miss anything. Ah, there it is. Okay. I would have missed it. Compare your notebook, which we already did. So he has everything. He has an extra... Uh, extra, there it is. He has an extra bag of fertilizer. So that's definitely... Definitely not a good thing for this guy. Um, so either way... That's pretty much the main thing is that his it's his name and his cargo list is all jacked up, so he's definitely not gonna be able to enter in today. Let's go ahead and put our cargo list away. Here's your uh, here's your paperwork back, sir. Um unfortunately today you're not gonna be able to make it in due to your cargo list is uh What should they not have? You got an extra bag. Check out the data, Pasterson. I don't know what he said. Uh Sir. You might want to stop uh, down the road and put your tailgate back up. Sure. Perfect inspection. We got a hundred. Let's go ahead and get another. See the next person in. Next up. Let's go. Come up. Um, I like your van there. I almost like a hippie van. There. How's it going, sir? Let me see your paperwork. Let's check everything out. I'm standing over here. Appreciate it. I wish it just like straight out, like handed to you, you know. Uh, he's is Matar. He's is Matar. He's is Matar. Um, all that's so good. He is Alba uh, Alberic. So we got to keep in mind of them. Um, our smuggler is an Alberic. So definitely got to look at that. Uh, he was born 1934, January the third. Valid through 22 of April. So, he's almost there. His uh, expiration is just almost up. Man, his passport is pretty close too. So, it shows he has a cargo list. <clears throat> we got uh, petrol barrels, uh, cement, apple crate, all that good jazz. So, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have him step out of the vehicle. Actually, uh, never mind. Can't do that. Check his cargo list. Um... Press E to unpack the cargo. Let your cargo no okay, we gotta have the notebook up for when we do that. So. I'm not trying to get on top of your Alright, so now we can go over here to the tables and everything and uh, make sure we mark everything. Got two stoves. Got some bags of stuff going on here. Two barrels of oil. 
Oh yeah, and the toilet. Let me make sure we got everything. So two barrels, let's see, apple crate three, gas range two, cement six, uh, petrol boils, boils. I, if, I could, if I could just talk today, I'd be happy. So cargo list is good as far as that goes. Let me check this real quick. Passport number and all that's good. So everything is good as far as his name, numbers, um, his cargo list so far. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do a light check on everything. And actually open up the toilet. That's probably a little bit disgusting. Oh my god. We got a smuggler. Let's check out the rest of this cargo. Make sure... One of the bags looks like it's going to contain something. Okay. Everything else right here is good. Um, he ain't going to be able to see us. Let's go ahead and uh, tear. Let's go ahead and tear into this bag. Ah, uh, we found some weapons. We found some weapons. Put this knife away. Sir! I want to need you to step out, please. Step out of this vehicle. Now I'm going to go ahead. Because I don't want you running for me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, arrest you, my friend. It says, you are arrested, my friend. For trying to bring weapons into the country. Good day to you, sir. Sit tight. We'll be with you uh, here in a bit. I don't know why it sounded like I slammed the shit out of that door. Alright, let's go ahead and check his car. For, uh... See if we can find anything else. Almost forgot how to cr uh, crouch. Not seeing anything up inside the grill there. Oh. Damn, did you have to park so close to the damn concrete barrier? Jesus. Open this up, make sure we're not going to find anything else in here. Inside the engine bay, nothing in the air filter. Doesn't look like anything is going to be inside that. Nothing underneath. Like the wheels. Oh. He was just trying to hide it inside of, uh, inside of the cargo. It wasn't much, but it's still enough that, uh, you know, you can't bring that stuff into the country. Go ahead and clean this up for me, sir. Alright. Thwarted smuggling. So that was our smuggler for the day. I'm bad about turning my flashlight on and off. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these people in so we can complete our day. So I don't believe we're going to have to worry about uh, any more smugglers for today. We will make sure that nobody else is trying to smuggle anything in. But, uh, still gotta check their cargo list and all that. Now the music plays! Now the music plays. What in the world? Let me go ahead and uh, see your documentation there, sir. As long as everything is good with documentation, I might leave you in the vehicle. He has a goat. But we have a goat on this guy. Uh, Christelle Karima? Christelle Karima? M7W5, 1145, M7W5, okay, everything looks good, Christel, Karima, he's just uh, here for a visit, he's a United Rally, Valid to June, so he's good there, let's uh, check to make sure he actually has a goat back here, got a live goat, check that on the list, all that's good, Make sure we got the, that back up. Let me just do a once over on the outside of his vehicle. Not really seeing too much of anything in there. Let me get your hood for you. I'm going to go ahead and say this guy's good. I'm, uh, everything else is good on his paperwork, everything. Uh, right off the bat, I can't see. I don't really see any kind of marks or anything. Sorry about that light. <clears throat> Let's get a good look at his profile. Look at his face here. Yep, I would definitely say that's him. But we're going to go ahead and just let this guy come on in. Um, 
I'm not going to search his car or everything. Everything else looks perfect. But we're going to go ahead and approve this guy and see what happens. You do. Have a great day. <clears throat> go and get this other gate open next place. See what we got. Perfect inspection. There we go. There we go. So a lot to see. Evening, sir. Let me see your uh, documentation, please. Ah, Lee. I guess I just need to stand over here, you know. I'm just, I'm just kind of standing all over the place. Alright, let's check this guy out. Um, Abek Musav. Abek Musav. Abek Musav. Make sure the names and all that are good. Battle to September, so he's okay. Uh, he's here. He's coming in for trade. Kingdom of Erki. Um, let's see. Plate. Plate looks fine. It shows he has 10 radioactive materials. So we're definitely going to have to check that out real quick. Day is already getting short. Holy shit. I may not have to pull any of this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's only got nine. His, uh... Unpack. Oh, never mind. He's only got nine. So that's a discrepancy there. His uh, cargo list says he's supposed to have ten. So we don't know what, uh... You know, we really don't know what he's done with the rest of it. Let's uh, do a once over on the outside of his vehicle. Make sure we don't have any kind of marks on the outside. He's probably going to be okay as far as... I, I think we're... I think we're actually okay with the smuggling. I don't think we're going to have any more smugglers of the day. So. That hood. Let me open your door over here, sir. Don't mind me. I did not mean to. Well, if you feel like you need to step out and have your space, that's. You know, that's completely fine. Alright. Vehicle's clean. That's a uh, med kit. First aid kit, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so other than his cargo list being uh, jacked up, that's going to pretty much keep him from being able to get into into the country. So, Alright, sir, here's uh, here's your documentation back. Um, I had to say, you're not going to be able to enter into the country this time because... Well, it is over because your list is not right. Alright? Double check your list and come back. Make sure you have everything that you have. Good day, sir. That's our last guy of the day. Let's uh, make sure he's all good. Make sure he gets out of here. Alright. The driver did not meet the requirements to enter the country. He, did, he didn't enter the country, though. Uh, His surname... I could have sworn I looked over his name, like, really good. There must have been... There must have been something... Something must have been just off enough that I just did not catch it. But, I mean, it, it is lit up red, so... His, I guess it was on his cargo list. I could have sworn I looked at that a couple of times, but anyway. Uh... Alright, it's one nice to go to sleep, so that's, a. Uh, here we go with our our, uh, our day one here, so. Let's uh, take ourselves a nap, and I guess we'll kick it back off again. Four correct checks, all that. Uh, uh, 866 bucks. We're slowly uh, making bank. <laughs> slowly but surely. It's, it's uh, a little bit of a grind out here in the middle of nowhere. Ready, comrades? Today, I'd like to check what you've learned. I'll get to work. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and let this first guy in. There ain't nobody here yet. So what do we got? Looks like we have a uh, smuggler number four. Um, we respect... We suspect... Respect. We suspect that a driver who did not stop for inspection yesterday will try to cross the border. Alright, partial registration will be... MTO. Or MT0. Probably MTO. Cargo list. Let's see, that's okay, that's still the same. 
But we need to uh, we need to keep an eye out for the partial registration of MTO. Uh, all right, we got people coming up. I wonder who it was. The one we only there was one person we did not let in. We uh, arrested one, which we will have to take him to the jail. And uh, there was that it was that last guy that actually looks like that truck right there with the guy with the radioactive uh, radioactive stuff. You have something for trade. Never mind. What? Small trading. Some visitors will want to trade with you in a communist state. Necessi uh, necessities are often available on a black market. Small trade opportunity. The price. Bleh, huh. Pack of cigarettes, 12 bucks. Plus 38. A bag of potatoes, 160 bucks. I don't understand. I guess that's like a probability. Or I'll. I'll I don't, I don't understand that. What? <laughs> what does he have? Alcohol? Bag of potatoes? Laundry detergent? Uh, a package of coffee? I don't have anything to... Okay, I guess... Coffee for cigarettes? I mean, it's 41 bucks for that. It's only 38 for that. How much is the... So the bag of potatoes are only 26 bucks. I don't want to do that, sir. Give me your documents. <laughs> you ain't got nothing I want, really. I don't think I need any of that shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Bari Akaka Yukaka. I guess so. Bari Yukava. So his name, his uh, passport name is different than his permit. And I can see Yudava. So his name all around is uh, jacked up. So he's already not getting in. Um, that's yeah, I guess it is. I'm bad with my months. But whenever I'm on the spot, I guess he's a Republic of Kagastam. Um, he does have a cargo list. I, I guess we should check his cargo list real quick. Bro, right, let me go ahead and get you to step out of the vehicle, please. Make sir. All right, let's get all this stuff unpacked. We have music playing while he was in here. Let's uh, check the insides of his van here. All right, let's go check his cargo. Then we'll black light it. All right, I believe that was everything. Cargo list, cheese crate, we have three of three, salt sack two of two, fertilizer four of four, uh, a barrel of cucumbers, two. Should be four. He's only got two, I'm pretty sure it's kind of hard to miss that. So, his cargo list is jacked up as well. Uh, I still went over on his car. Um, I don't think he's a smuggler, because... I don't remember this guy trying to I don't think he was trying to get in at all this was his first time actually here so I think uh, his his is just his uh, paperwork issues I think that's all it is go ahead and uh, clean this up for me put it back in the truck let's go deal with him shut, shut his doors all right, sir, here's your, uh, you can go ahead and get back in the vehicle and I'll explain to you why, well, what's going on here with your paperwork. Shut your door for you. All right, sir, here's your paperwork back. Unfortunately, you will not be able to come in here because you have a couple of discrepancies on your uh, cargo list and your name's all jacked up. Make sure he actually gets out of here. He's making that turn, and he's leaving. All right. Next up. <clears throat> I didn't even... I didn't even look at his plate. Driver did not meet the requirements to enter the country. What? Just a justified refusal. What am I doing? Passport number. <sighs> I mean, we're not doing bad. Rating is still great, but we're not making the, that full... Uh, that full hundred bucks. Uh, hundred bucks in inspection. 
This is definitely not the same guy that was uh, trying to get in the other day. Howdy, sir. Your documents. Appreciate it. Looks like you. The uh, what? Hey! What? Oh my god! Oh, come on, run. Oh, he's gonna get away. He's gonna get away. He's gonna get away. That's some crazy music playing. Uh, shit. Alright, looks like he went straight. I see that he made a turn right here. We were gonna crash. Our vehicle is still busted up from uh, the last time. How the hell are we gonna stop this guy? There he is. We got him. We got him. These lights on. Oh! I think it would help if I stop moving uh, my head around and just drive. He is smashing, boy. Game is not liking this at all. What am I supposed to do? Pit it out? Pity map? Pity map? Oh! No! Turn them lights off. I think the. I think that's what had us all jacked up. Let's see if it still does it. Stop the fugitive. Oh, I still kind of do it. So let's turn, let's turn those on. Make sure people get out of the way. Stop the vehicle, sir! It ain't worth it. It is not worth it. I'm getting right here. I'm getting right here. Oh my god. I don't have a pistol or anything. <laughs> nice, he would have gotten away. Oh, no. Sir, you are under arrest, my my friend. Oh. Turn to the border post. Oh sh We got new orders. I think we're stuck. Stop your vehicle, sir. Really? <laughs> Alright, we got about four and a half minutes to uh, haul ass back to, to get back to uh, the post. I'm probably going the wrong damn direction, too. I gotta stop in the middle of the road. I feel like we're going the right way. Oh yeah, there's the... Uh, there's a police... Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh. I'm gonna owe so much on this vehicle to have it repaired. That guy was crazy, like he just handed me his uh he handed me his documentation and just started falling ass. There's some polka music going on, what in the world? <laughs> crazy polka music. I think I'm lost. We got three and a half minutes. Oh I just took out that sign. Oh! Keyboard cat in it though. Don't, don't mind me. I don't think we're doing too bad, considering that I don't normally, I don't normally, uh, oh my god. Alright, we're going to park the truck right here. Alright, where's the post up? We got to get in there. We still had, uh, we had over a minute to spare, so. Alright, let's see what's going on. Comrade, we lost contact with Sergeant uh, Gavrilov's brigade. They were on the trail of blood, blood fist rebels near the sawmill. Uh, the matter is urgent, so we need to get there as soon as possible. So we have an extra job, apparently. What is this? Oh shit! 
Post management, temporary unavailable. Huh. That's crazy, you can actually turn that fan on. Up. Alright, so we gotta get in contact with the uh, sergeant. What we got going on here? <gasps> oh, shit! Uh, we got ourselves... He stole that now. Hey, oh yeah. Um, let me move that. I'm gonna put that into my number one spot. Alright, let's, uh... Alright. We're gonna have to get... We're gonna have to go uh, get in contact with Sergeant Grebelovs. Do we still have a prisoner in here? Does not look like it. Okay. Go check. Oh! Hey! What is up with this music? I have no idea what this music Alright, so we gotta go to the salt mill. Let's bring up the salt mill real quick. One second. What the hell was that sound? Oh, I didn't even look at the map really. I had stuff going on my, uh, my job was uh, texting me so I, I thought I was going to have to go do something. I hope this music ain't copyright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So our van wasn't uh, fixed up. I just, I couldn't see, I couldn't see the windshield shards already, so. <laughs> we don't need no signs. Let's go, go up this way. Probably a bad choice. I was just looking, I uh, didn't look at the map completely. You would think uh, with all these trees right here. In the middle of a dense forest, you know, it might be a, uh, might be a sawmill out in there somewhere. I'm so used to in GTA, I move my mouse around a lot, so I'm so used to having to oh stop. Oh my god! Here's a sawmill. Oh, we got we got a ton of people in here. People with guns. Better be the beginning. I can't believe it, Sergeant Gavilov is uh, along the criminals. Uh, let's get away from here. I must personally inform the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh my god! I got shot! How the hell are you gonna die right here? <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna die right there? Wait a minute. Hurka! Opokameno! As možno je vojivatko! A trebuje varisho. A karistanska has trebuje. We get saved? I was shooting the hell out of that. Convinced of your death, the rebel. Convinced of your death, the rebels escape from the sawmill after an hour. The concerned commissioner sends his deputy to back up brigade to the place. Uh, the wound on your head turns out to be uh, superficial. Unfortunately, comrade Circle Rock, uh, Surikin was not so lucky. So, the guy that was in the truck with us, he obviously, he got lit. He got lit up. All right, everybody, that's where we're going to wrap up this video of Contraband Police. That was definitely uh, not expected toward the end. I guess we uh, faked our death. And uh, we're going to come back and just work. I guess like nothing even happened. But uh, either way, I want to appreciate each and every one of y'all for coming out and watching Contraband Police. Uh, this game here, hopefully uh, when we come back to it, uh, hopefully very soon we'll be starting up the next chapter, Chapter 2. Uh, we finally completed our training stage and uh, we'll be able to move on and I guess start playing the game fully. But either way, we will see you guys next video. Peace!